Hey everyone, Shaper 1000 here. So today we got this little pressure washer. It's a Honda. It's a friend of mine's. He said he pulled it a couple times, it wouldn't start. Uh, he don't know anything about it. He got it at an estate sale. So we're gonna check it out and see if we can get it running for him. His boss said if he can get that thing running, he'll buy the hoses for it because it didn't come with the hoses. So we're gonna check this thing out and see if uh, see if it's gonna run. Okay guys, so just looking at first glance, always look for something like this. This little wire here. That usually is a tag from a repair shop. So I don't know if it's because it was in for a service or what, but that's what that's for. Um, he said there was gas in it, but we don't know how old it is or anything like that. And there is, it's almost full, it's about three quarters of a tank in there uh, he said he tried to pull it a couple times it didn't do anything so looking at this the switch is off I don't know if he had the switch on let me get out of your light here so the switch is off I don't know if he flipped the switch on or not and the fuel's off, that's off, and you turn it and that'll that'll go on. Let's pull this off and see what it looks like. Ah, uh, pretty good. So that's not all clogged up. Now I asked him if he checked the first spark, he said no, I just pulled it a couple times, it didn't do anything, so he didn't mess with it. <clears throat> There's the choke. The choke wasn't on, so I don't know why he would put everything back like that, but we're going to turn this fuel on. We're going to turn the switch on. Then I'm going to take you over. We're going to hook this up to the water and we're going to give it a couple pulls. See if we can't get this thing to start. So. Chokes on there. All right, let me get you in the stand. And let's take it over to the water source, which is our hose, and uh, see if we can't get this thing to start. It might start right up. So I don't feel anything leaking out of it. Another thing we need to check real quick is the oil. And it's got oil in it. That little wet spot there. Probably from them setting down the oil or, or setting this down, but it's got oil in it. So this thing should run. There might not be anything wrong with it. Maybe he just didn't have it turned on. Or maybe it's something, something, something simple like a plug, spark plug, or, you know, not getting fuel. Who knows? I can't do that with my left hand, apparently. There we go. All right. This is to lock the handle. Fuel seized up. You're supposed to be able to pull that out, and this handle will flip down, and uh, that's for you know throwing it in the trunk of your car or whatever very small pump on it it's uh 3100 i believe 25 gallon per minute yeah okay all right well let's get you over to the water hose okay we got the water on i'm standing back over this way so we don't get pelted with water let's try it
Let's try some starting fluid. Well, we just needed a little help. We're going to go ahead and fire it up again and see. It'll start on its own now. Oh, sounds good. Pump's working great. Uh, there you go, Ryan. <laughs> so, just needed a little help, that's all. Sounds like carburetor's fine. No, no knocks in the engine, no pings, no noises. Sounds good. Well, time to give him a call. Uh, that's the shortest Will It Run video ever. Will It Run? Yes. Uh, Let's move on to something else. <laughs> All right. Hang on a second, guys. I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So there you go. Um, it must be. Too bad they don't all do that, right? <laughs> but uh, he just said he pulled it a couple times and it didn't do anything. So as you've seen, I helped it a little bit with some starting fluid. But, you know, who knows how long it was sent. And the story on that is went to an estate sale and there was two of them sitting there and that was the better of the two and uh, he got it very cheap but neither one of them had the hoses so we're thinking you know that people that come and you know the family and whatnot they they didn't take the pressure washers they might have even tried to start them who knows but they just took the hoses for both of them the hoses and wands so we're figuring that's a, that's expensive stuff so we're figuring they just grabbed the expensive stuff and kind of like what they did over here at Jerry's. They just got what they wanted and left everything else. Uh, so that'd be my guess is that, uh, is that, you know, they just grabbed the expensive hoses, didn't want to mess with them things. So yeah, well, there you go, Ryan. <laughs> Will it run? yes all right guys sorry it's such a short video but you know uh, sometimes you have days like that not everything can go the way you want it i wanted to at least you know have to check the spark plug or something but that's fine you know in his case i'm not charging him anything for this you know this is a video i told him oh don't worry about that so i gotta give him a call and uh he needs an alternator changed on his truck so he said something about that he stopped by this morning monkeys having a yard sale today so yeah he stopped by this morning dropped that off I wasn't even up yet I was up until about six o'clock so but um, this morning <laughs> I said that I want to know if I want to change that alternator for him. It's, it's on that Dodge I did the brakes on, so it's, it's pretty easy job, 15, 20 minute job. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Sorry it wasn't a longer video, but nah, 
yeah at least it's running for him and it sounds it sounds really good it's a it's a good sounding engine so pump seems to be working good so there you go Shea Bear the myth the man of legend I'm gone for now stay tuned for more videos I got a couple things lined up I want to do and I'll bring you along with me so alright guys have a good one we'll see you soon bye bye and take care